absolutely am. Well, let's do it. Nothing beats when the cranking battery turns over in the morning. <laughs> Never have to worry with interstates, man. Let's go fishing. Let's go, I'm ready. One of the most important things and one of the biggest mistakes I've seen over the years when anglers are buzzbait fishing is planing the lure early in the retrieve. And what I mean by that is you want to make your cast, lift your rod tip and get that thing. And as soon as it hits the water, you want to get it on plane. And if the bass are up real shallow sometimes, that's all it takes, that first or second turn of the, of the, the reel handle and you're gonna get those aggressive fish to eat it instantly. Whereas I've watched anglers over the years, they'll throw their buzz bait in and the first 10 feet of the retrieve, it's under the water. And if the fish are crazy and they're eating spinner baits too, you'll get some like that. But for the most part, that's really an important tip. Make sure you plane your buzz bait out and you also wanna make sure you have a buzz bait that will perform properly at low, slow speeds. You wanna be able to slow roll a buzz bait if that's the way the bass want it. When you're fishing buzzbait, sometimes just little things like that make all the difference in the world. That fish just crushed it. See, now that was, as I was saying there, that was a very slow retrieve on that buzzbait. That's a good fish. That's a real good fish. That's a good looking fish. And that's fish. what happens Look at her when tail. you can slow down a buzzbait. Wow. <laughs> she has no tail. She's post-spawn too, isn't yep, she? Yep, she is, look at her. She's way spawned out, her tail's beat up. She, she fans the rocks and clears things out when she's messing with that male. She'll turn sideways and rub against the male. She lays her eggs. <laughs> and that is why you wanna make sure you have a properly tuned buzz bait and one that will retrieve at low speeds. <laughs>